today we're gonna create this super fun photo manipulation in Affinity Photo in which we're gonna turn this orange into a little aquarium. So I've got my empty canvas right over here and I got a few images. So this is the first one of this orange slice. Then we've got this goldfish on a white background. Then we've got this water. And finally, we have got this orange setup, let's say. And all of these images come from EnvadoElements.com. And, and if you don't know Envato Element, it has got like millions and millions of assets, including photos, videos, graphic templates, etc., etc. So very good platform to source high quality images and isolated photos, as you can see as well. All right, now let's st first start by creating our scene. So the first thing what I want to do is select this orange right over here. And we're going to do this by using the quick selection brush. So let's select the quick selection brush and let's just quickly brush over our subject, let's say. And we want to include everything except the shadow. So I'm not going to need the shadow because we're going to manually paint in the shadows, which is going to be a lot nicer to me. And I think this looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press command J to duplicate this. So now we've got our orange onto its own layer. So I'm going to press command C to copy it. And I'm going to go over to my document and press command V to paste it. And now I'm just going to resize it a little bit. So I'm going to make it pretty big and I'm going to position it around here. Now, the second photo that I'm going to need is this uh, orange slice or orange part, let's say. Same thing, I'm just going to grab my quick selection brush tool and I'm going to make a quick selection of this orange. And also here, I'm not going to need the uh, shadows so uh, because we're going to draw these in ourselves. So let's just try to select everything. This we don't need. Now, if you want to subtract from your selection, you hold Option or Alt. And if you want to add to your selection, you will hold Control. So we've got our selection right here. I'm going to press Command J to duplicate it onto its own layer. Let me do the same thing. So I'm going to select my Move tool. I'm going to press Command C. Go to my document. And I'm going to press Command V to paste it. And now I'm going to resize it a bit. And... I'm going to position it just that it overlaps our um, our orange, let's say. So something like this. Now, let's create some shadows first because then at least it looks like they are standing on a surface or laying on a surface. So very simple. We're going to create a new pixel layer. I'm going to press B on the keyboard and I'm going to go to my basic brushes. I'm just going to uh, create a soft round blob, let's say. So I'm going to uh, click once. And I'm going to reshape this fairly easy, something like this. And you want to drag it below your subject. So maybe narrower, something like this. We're going to reduce the opacity a little bit. And I think this looks good. So I'm going to press Command J to duplicate this. And I'm going to drag it below our orange. There we go. And this one is going to be a little wider because our orange obviously is wider than our uh, slice, let's say. And I think this looks pretty good. Now, if I want to really fine tune this, what I can do is actually uh, command C, uh, J this once again. So I'm duplicated once again and just drag it very tiny. And this is going to be the contact shadow basically. And let's do the same thing for here. We're going to press command J to duplicate it. And then we're going to shrink this one a whole lot down. So we've got this nice extra um, touch, let's say. And we can actually actually increase the opacity quite a bit so let's go for something yeah this looks actually pretty good all right now next thing what i want to do is i want to mask out this part of the orange and this obviously is very simple so we're just going to use our quick selection brush i'm going to press w on the keyboard make sure i've got my orange part selected so let's call this one orange part and let's call this one orange and these are shadows. So let's group these together because these belong together just like these. And now we've got our group right here. Let's select our orange part and let's just uh, make a very rough and or very quick selection, I should say, of yeah our orange part. There we go. Now we're just going to mask this out, but if I'm going to mask right now, you will see that I only keep the orange, which is something I don't want. I mean the inside. So I'm going to press command shift I to invert my layer mask and then I'm going to uh, hit the mask icon once again. And now you can see that we've actually masked out the inside of our orange part. 
By the way, if you want to have more fun manipulating photos in Affinity Photo, then check out the Ultimate Brush Bundle down below. It includes 176 hyper-realistic brushes and tutorials that make photo manipulation fun for everyone, even if you're a complete beginner. Brushes range from Northern Lights, Lightning, Fire, Water, Birds, Planets, Comets, Milky Ways, and so much more. So if you're interested, check out the link down below. Let's get back into the tutorial. All right, so net, let's go to our next photo, and that is going to be my water surface. So that is this one right here. Now, I'm too distracted by this big um, bubble, let's say, so I'm going to fix that first. So I'm going to um, grab my in-painting brush tool. I'm going to increase, and yeah, I'm going to sample from my current layer, and I'm just going to brush out this thing because I don't really like it. It is too distracting. There we go. Let's fix this as well. And these small ones. All right, so now we've got the bubbles removed. Now it's time to remove the white background, let's say. So we're just gonna do this with a selection brush. So I'm gonna press W on the keyboard. I'm just gonna make a very quick selection of, let's say this white background. And now I'm gonna hold Alt and I'm just gonna click and drag everything that it um, selected too much and if you want a better view you can press Q on the keyboard to have uh, to go into quick mask mode and now it's very important is white is everything that is selected and red is everything that is not selected so I'm selecting the background so later I want to invert my layer mask so if I want to select this now I have to hold alt hold alt let's say to kind of deselect it which is yeah I'm kind of working the other way around right now and once this is all deselected, I'm going to leave quick mask mode. So I think this looks about fine. Here's a little bit. I'm going to leave quick mask mode by pressing Q and I'm going to press command shift I to invert my layer mask. And then I'm going to hit the mask icon. And now you can see that we've got this nice cut out of this water. Now we can actually merge this one down. So I'm going to press command E. And now it is merged down below. So we're going to copy this one and we're going to move over to our scene. And now I see that my orange slice is way too much to the front. So I'm going to move it a little bit more back. So something like right here maybe. And now I'm going to press command V to paste my water in. Now, a little trick that is pretty cool to know is you can see that my water is way too big. If you double click the thumbnail of your uh, picture, so let's rename this water. If I double click the thumbnail, you see that the whole image now fits to my screen. So now it is way easier to resize this thing. So just double click the thumbnail and now we can resize it and reposition it however we need. So something like this, let's zoom in by pressing command zero and we want to position this thing just how we want. Now we, we, we want to make sure that it actually covers the whole thing. So we're going to drag it down a little bit and also we want it to be below our orange part. So something like this looks pretty good to me. Now you can see that at the top, it doesn't really match our orange. So let's actually tackle this problem right now. So I'm going to I'm going to use the mesh warp tool and if you cannot find it you can go to view you can go to customize tools and then it is this one right over here so you can just click and drag this onto your toolbox let's say so what we're going to do now is use the mesh warp tool and I'm just going to click and drag this thing so that it actually fits So maybe something like this and yeah, we could, if we wanted to, we can also fix this right now, but we could also mask it out. But since we're now in our mesh warp tool, let's just fix everything with this tool. So we're going to just click and drag and move this thing around. Just drag our handles like so. Drag this handle down. And now it actually looks like our water fits actually. So I'm going to hit apply and this looks beautiful. All right. Now, of course, water is transparent, so I want to make sure that we can actually see through the water and then we see our orange, let's say, on the background. So there's a nice way to do this and we're going to do this by using a layer mask. So I'm going to select my water layer and I'm going to create a layer mask and this is going to be a normal layer mask. So now I'm going to grab a soft round brush and I'm going to set the opacity very low. So let's say 6%. And if I brush with um, black right now, you can see that we make it very subtly um, transparent. So let's do that for this area and just do it enough. And if we want to make it more opaque, let's say we can just brush back in with white. So I'm going to press X on the keyboard and now I'm just going to brush back in with white until I'm happy with yeah, the result, let's say. 
all right so this looks pretty good let me actually show you the before this was the before and this is the after and it looks a lot better already now last thing that we need to do is we want to import our goldfish and to cut this thing out is pretty tricky or it can be pretty tricky because you can see this goldfish has quite a lot of transparency going on in his tail and in his fins etc etc but there is actually a very cool way to cut out this goldfish from the background and that is by using the erase white paper function so let's select our goldfish and let's actually rename this one goldfish for now and let's select it let's go to our filters let's go to colors and then you want to click on erase white paper now what you see is that Affinity Photo removed all the white pixels, but as you can see, it also removed the pixels from the body of the fish, let's say, and obviously these parts are not transparent, but the fins and the tail are. So how to address this? Let's create a new pixel layer. Let's actually drag it below our goldfish. Press B on the keyboard and make sure you get a, yeah, a pretty hard round brush, let's say. So let's go for 70% and now we're just gonna brush back in the whites so i'm just gonna go here and everything where it should be white let's say or where it shouldn't be transparent we're just gonna br brush back the effect and you want to make sure that you're brushing inside of your uh, selection let's say so if you want to check it you can go to um, layer you can create a new fill layer and let's create a darker fill layer so it doesn't really matter some darker color and you want to drag this below your white layer and now when you paint on your white pixels or on your white layer you can actually whoops let's paint with white you can actually see what you're doing so now we can kind of paint back decent there we go so now we've got a nice cutout of this goldfish now we can actually see what we've done and we can uh, fix our mask let's say or our white paint white paint layer and that's it so now what we want to do is we want to uh, merge these two together so i'm going to press command e to merge below merge down below and now i'm just going to copy this fish go back to our document press command v there's a huge goldfish right now and let's position this thing a little smaller right inside of our water and now I'm going to set the blend mode of the fish to multiply. And now I think it's still too dark. So how to address this? We're going to press command L on the keyboard to create a levels adjustment layer. And we're going to drag the output level to the left. And now it kind of looks like our fish is underwater. So let's position it somewhere else. Let's position it here. And there we go.